Today, we're going to share all the great components of Einstein Recommendation Builder in the Spring 21 release. The first thing you need to do is go to Setup and search for Einstein Recommendation Builder to start a new recommendation. Select the Salesforce object that contains what you want to recommend. It's called the Recommended Items object. For example, you can use your product catalog, which is stored in your product object. Then select a recipient object, which is the object that receives the recommendation. In this case, customers show with contacts. Recommendations usually appear here. Choose the object that stores the past outcomes that Einstein can learn from, such as the order history. Einstein chooses the best products by looking at the customer's purchase history and that of other similar customers. If there's more than one relationship between the interactions object and the other two objects, you can specify which relationship field to use. Name your recommendation so you can easily identify it later and give it a brief description. You can improve recommendation performance by segmenting your recipient or recommended items to focus only on relevant records. For example, your recipient object is contact, and you're interested only in contacts that are in the finance industry. So in order to do this, you need to segment your recipient object using the filter condition industry equals finance. And to segment your recommended items object using the filter condition category equals enterprise. By default, Einstein considers all the fields in the recipient and recommended items objects. You can exclude fields that aren't relevant to your recommendation. Doing so can improve performance and mitigate some kinds of bias, actually. For example, a common data problem known as hindsight bias occurs when a field whose value could only be known after a predicted outcome occurs is used to actually predict the outcome. Make sure to exclude any such fields from the recommendation. The way you define positive and negative interactions can affect your recommendation's performance. You can get better results if you define a positive interaction as a desired outcome. For example, contact purchases a product. Negative examples aren't required, but can help improve the recommendation. They give useful predictive signals when available. An example is when a prospect explicitly rejects a promotion. When you're satisfied with your settings, you can build the recommendation. This may take up to several hours depending on the amount of data used in your recommendation. However, after your recommendation is built, review the results in the Einstein Recommendation Builder scorecard. The scorecard shows metrics such as overall recommendation quality and predicted lift. You can also drill down to understand how each field influences the model compared to other fields. Building a good recommendation that meets your business needs is an iterative process. If you're not satisfied with the quality of your recommendation, you can refine it, edit an existing recommendation, or clone it to a new one, and then adjust the settings. When you're satisfied with your recommendation, you can deploy it to a next best action strategy. With Strategy Builder, you can filter and override recommendations to suit your business needs and prevent duplicate recommendations. Use the Einstein load element to select the recommendation that you built using Einstein Recommendation Builder. You can also add other Strategy Builder elements to meet your business objectives. For example, you can 1. Filter recommendations. 2. Add business rules to decide when to show certain recommendations. Or 3. Combine multiple Einstein recommendations into your strategy. After you create a strategy in Strategy Builder, choose a page to display your recommendations and run your strategy. You can use a Lightning Record page, an App's Home page, a Community page, a Visual Force page, or another app depending on where you want recommended offers to appear. After a user accepts or rejects a recommendation, a flow executes. A flow can collect data and perform actions in your Salesforce org or an external system. Thank you.